Let's bring in Dr. Christopher Labos. He's an epidemiologist, cardiologist, usually based in Montreal. Today he is in Toronto. Good to see you, Dr. Labos. Appreciate your time. Oh, thank you for having me. All right, so what does this mean exactly for Canada? What's the takeaway? Well, the takeaway is that we have lost our measles elimination status. This is a bad, this is a bad look for us internationally. It, it means that we have not done what we need to do. And frankly, we need to step up our game to make things better because we can regain that status, but it's going to require a concerted public health expert to get vaccination rates up. I mean, we've gotten rid of measles before. If you can vaccinate enough of the, pop enough of the population, measles will go away so we've done it before and we can do it again we're showing the map for people who are watching across the country to give them a sense of different provinces and how many cases and we see of course much of it uh, targeting Ontario and Alberta with huge numbers in both of those provinces how did this happen dr. Labos well it happened because we've been allowing measles vaccination rates to slip uh, part of the problem is is that vaccines tend to be victims of their own success because nobody had seen measles in essentially a generation here in Canada it became less of an imperative for parents to go out and vaccinate their children. And as, because measles is so infectious, if you get below that critical threshold of 95%, that allows measles cases to spread. So all it takes is one international traveler to catch measles overseas, bring it back to Canada, and let it spread. And while there have been measles cases in Canada before, we haven't had this kind of sustained transmission for over a year, which is why we've lost the measles elimination status from the PAHO. I know that there has been some criticism for certain provincial governments, Alberta, for example, comes to mind not doing enough. Is that fair criticism in your mind, Dr. Labos? Uh, I think it is because if we had kept the vaccination rates up high enough, we wouldn't be in this mess. I think we are all to blame, right? So I don't want to point fingers at any one specific person. But the minute you start indulging in anti-vaccine rhetoric, uh, this is what leads to vaccine hesitancy. And this is what allows eliminated diseases to come back. And so now we're seeing measles. I mean, it's not implausible or not impossible to think as I like, could we see the same thing with polio if things continue as they're going like there's. A, I think a very real worry out there that once eliminated diseases could come back and I, that's making a lot of people very nervous. Right, so what's the number one thing we can do in the here and now, Dr. Labos, to get that status back? I talked about 12 consecutive months of no outbreaks. Uh, how do we do that? It's very simple. Everybody needs to get two doses, right? If everybody in this country has two doses, there is no measles anymore. Right, so with two doses, you have essentially lifelong immunity against measles. That's how we got rid of measles before. That's how we will get rid of measles again. We just have to make sure that everybody gets two doses. And it's worth reminding people that a lot of people of a certain age, like myself, only got one dose when they were children because prior to around 1993, or at least the mid 1990s, we only had a one dose measles vaccine rather than a two dose measles vaccine. So some people of a certain age might have to check their records and see if they need a top up when there was no measles in this country that wasn't a big deal but now that measles are circulating it might be worth thinking that you need that booster dose to get you up to the two complete doses. Dr. Labos thanks so much for taking the time for us appreciate you getting to our studios there in Toronto. My pleasure you take care.